This is such um, a very sad uh, um, story. Yeah, this woman was attacked by those two guys that you have seen in the video that are running away. And uh, yeah, she was um, stabbed 24 times. And luckily, by God's grace, um, she managed to survive. And uh, yeah, this incident happened uh, right here in South Africa and in the city of Cape Town and in a place called Parklands, um, the place I know very well and uh, on a road called Gee Road. Yes, so that incident happened and uh, it's very sad and that's why um, I would like to really um, encourage anyone who is visiting Cape Town to be able to be vigilant whether you're walking or you taking a taxi or you ordering uber or you driving uh, whichever way just have to be vigilant and always be careful um in the in the streets wherever you're walking yes um i'm also gonna show you um another video of a of a lady who got robbed the video was filmed i think some time back and uh, then you can see how she got robbed by unexpected robbers like people who you can't even think that they are gonna rob you or you're just walking in a in, in a in a suburb road or street but then you get robbed so yes guys um watch this video and see how the lady was robbed you can see the lady is walking in a, on the pathway in in the suburbs and uh, you can see that an, an, an unexpected car just uh, stops and uh, two gentlemen get out of the vehicle and uh, run towards her the other one grabs her belongings and put back in the car and the other one runs after her strangles her and forces her off her belongings also and the struggles you can see the ladies risking and trying to struggle yes and then uh, the guy overpower the lady and uh, they drive off so guys this is how it happens it's very common here in cape town and it can happen to you anywhere so just be vigilant and always watch your back and try also to avoid any circumstances whereby you are always alone Cape Town, South Africa, and this is a, a beach road. Yes, so the weather is just flickering left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. So it's always good to sometimes just put on a, a jacket uh, so at least you can just uh, check out the weather so at this time now the jacket is useful because the kind of a cool breeze which is here is really really 
enjoyable. Look at that. You can't even see uh, what is in front. Yes, guys. This is how it is over here. There's no light. Such kind of weather just uh, brings the appetite of coffee. Guys, um, what I wanted to talk to you about is um, the safety of how to walk around in Cape Town. And uh, yeah, right now I just wanna let you know the streets that you can avoid. So the number one street that you need to avoid in uh, while you are in Cape Town. Just try your best to avoid the street that is heading to um, heading to Woodstock all the way from Cape Town on the other side of the university. Yeah, that side there is a lot of homeless people who are camping there and uh, anytime can get an attack or they can attack you and rob you yes and uh, it has happened to a lot of people yeah it doesn't matter whatever time but that is a street to avoid if you can avoid that make your way through other different streets and yeah avoid it and uh, another street which is also in uh, Woodstock is uh, the Gimpy Street. Gimpy Street is a very dangerous street. I once saw a, a small boy of an of like uh, roughly 14 to 15 years of age or 16 so carrying a gun. Yes. So that street when I tried to find out about the street wow the things I had I can't even say it on camera. And uh, yeah, it's true also because I was once there and there was a lot of gunshots on a certain day. Yeah. Um, another street to avoid also, guys, still in the, in the city center, guys. The, the road, the Strand Street, the tail of Strand Street from the from the uh, after passing the, the train station going down all the way to Woodstock to Sir Lorry Road that that is a, a road a street to avoid guys that is a street to avoid completely whatever time of the day avoid that street especially if you're walking on foot avoid that street yeah there is numerous that I would also like to point out uh, still in the in the CBD uh, the area of the district 6 when you're going to the park after district 6 there is a park up behind uh, an area called uh, food lovers that is also an area not to walk on foot guys because it's uh, it's not a safe area guys any time of the day